very fascinating, very interesting. I, uh, I, I like it. You see, uh, I use the, uh, you know, the free version, but the paid version seems to have so many options and research and things of that nature that uh, are very, very nice. However, they use a subscription plan. And, uh, you know, for me, for some things, especially my writing software, <laughs> I like to pay for it outright like I've done Scrivener now for, you know, some years. And so don't get me wrong, I'm going to keep Scrivener. Uh, but to say that uh, Papyrus doesn't have some options in their paid version that I think are very, you know, worth checking out is to really be an understatement because they do. Now, for this afternoon, I want to talk about a prior series that I did. It was four parts and it was called the Lion, Lion Leader and Sage. And this is part one, which I'll play for you here soon. Before I do that, I want you to know that I've made some updates on the graduation day with the poetry poetry flair you see and uh, uh, there are more coming uh, I'm just uh, placing them in order even though I may be writing about them you know for later chapters but however I am in you know chapter 8 now uh, you can go to booknet.com and follow along read it you see and you can see the last uh, two that have been added to chapter eight. So please go uh, take a look at that. And you know, if you if you're interested in uh, that type of nonfiction. And so now, you know, for the rest of the day, I'm getting into uh, again the combination of not only some factual statements, but you know, some uh, a storytelling too that's in this. Uh, series the lion the leader and the sage and as I said this is part one and uh, by the time we get to uh, part four which is a uh, very uh, you know uh, lengthy as as far as I think it's about 40 maybe close to 50 minutes I believe and, you know it's a story uh, that I tell in it uh, that I think a lot of persons have appreciated it uh, I may not you know play that one on twitch at any time realize that see this is the parkbooks.com website but you can go and do a search and listen to all of them on your own you don't even have to wait for me to show them on twitch uh, this is just to highlight some of the uh, podcasts over the years uh, the ones that have been either uh, serious funny or documentary yes we got quite a few of those too and I don't think I've shown you or talked about any of those beforehand all right so uh, thanks for being here on this twitch as always and I'm going to share this with you right now okay I'm going to uh, switch microphones uh, so that you know I get a nice quality sound in here and let's see if we can and save that connection. It went flawless, it seems. Okay. And I shall begin. Have a wonderful day, guys. Part, Part one, one of, of the, the Lion, Lion Leader, and, and Sage. Hi, Hi I'm, I'm James Lynch, and welcome to this Park Books, Books update, update moment. There's, There's a story, story that I'm, I'm going, going to share with, with you in Part 4 of this Puck Books update moment. And I'm sure that many of you will enjoy this account. Why is it going to be a part four and not just a part one? Because as you have seen and appreciated over the years, uh, that sometimes we just develop certain points. Um, when the last time you even heard me state, words mean something. How many of you remember how I used to say that from time to time on the podcast? Yes, it's been probably over a year, if not more, that I've stated it so clearly and so precise as words mean something. 
with that in mind, keep also the experience of different things that we've talked about from poetry and also real life experiences. We've talked a lot about these things, have we not? Yes, we certainly have. And so take what I'm about to say, not with a grain of salt, but still take what I'm about to say in the form of a Aesop fable, if you will. You see, stories is just meant to teach something. It doesn't mean that everything in it is going to be, you know, exactly right verbatim or what have you, but it's just something to think about in part four, a short story that will be shared. Now, to build up to that point, the first thing that I want to share with you is why it's called the lion, leader, and sage. Did I leave out anything? Did I leave out anyone or any type of animal or person or group? Well, yes, I did. I didn't put another group in the title for this reason, because it will not be focused on until part four. Well, what group is that? I think I'll wait to tell you in the next podcast or in part three what that group is. But all the same, let's give you some characteristics of what these characters, uh, these protagonists, well, normally it's like really one main protagonist here. So I want to mention that all three of them do have positive qualities and so they can have a positive role in any type of story. But we want to focus in on really their decision-making processes, why they make the type of decisions that they make. For example, you have the lion. And when you think about a lion, what thoughts come in your mind? What are their characteristics? Are there many characteristics that you like about a lion? I'm sure there is for many of you. What about a leader? What are the characteristics that you look for in a leader? We talk about this. Then a sage. What is a sage? What is a characteristic of a sage? How will they factor into this story in part four? You will see. But in part two of this, you know, preliminary storytelling or giving you some background information, it will basically prepare you to see how all of these um, protagonists, <laughs> I'm, I'm having three of them, actually still fit together. And by part four, you will see the importance of what they were talking about and how it actually does affect society, if not the whole world that we live in today. All right. I'm James Lynch. Thank you for being here in this Pop Books Update moment. You have a wonderful, wonderful day.